the numbers add up. Investing in early childhood education pays off. And we estimate that annual rate of return is between 7% and up to as high as 20% in these programs, so very strong uh, rates of return. And even compared to the, the long run return uh, in, in, let's say, the stock market, uh, which returns 5 to 6% over a 30-year span, let's say, once we adjust for inflation, uh, these rates of return are, are even strong uh, compared to investments in the private markets. $17 uh, long term for every $1 invested. There's not an investor in the world who wouldn't take that kind of return. Experts say that annual return exceeds the stock market and results in more long-term savings than other social programs. What's exciting about what we know now about the early years is that it comes from many different streams of research. So we have 50 years of, of behavioral and developmental research that tells us what kinds of experiences children need to develop competence and be healthy. And, um, and now, accelerating in the last 10 years or so, um, brain research has just exploded. But only a small percentage of public investment in education goes towards children under the age of five. First, we have to make sure everybody understands the benefit of early childhood education. It has to be an investment that we're willing to make. And it's pound foolish when we don't think of making that investment uh, towards a universal or really making an investment to get more and more kids access to a quality early child program. Business people are interested in what that bottom line is and they're concerned about how kids are performing in their local school systems. They're also concerned about the, the workforce that is 15, 20 years down the road. And that workforce is now in that early childhood those early childhood years. Without an additional investment in early childhood education, our current statistics could get even worse. Research has shown that 20% of today's high school seniors do not have basic reading, writing, and addition skills. So to invest today is going to save us money years from now. Since 2004, PNC officials have committed $100 million over 10 years to fund preschool education. The workforce is going to need skill-based knowledge children to grow graduate from high school, college, and be prepared for the workplace 20 years from today. And as employers, we need them. Right now, a worker with a college degree earns 75% more on average than a worker with only a high school degree. Because this is an economy that is demanding workers with more levels of productivity and more skills. So and that all begins in, in early childhood. Studies show 70% of jobs in the next 10 years will require a college degree or training after high school. The Pennsylvania Department of Education found 6 out of 10 of the state's 12th graders don't have the science skills to compete in a high-tech economy. The fact is that most of the rest of the world has far more young people than we do. There are parts of the world where 60% of the population is under 25 years old. Their capacity to educate and develop a competitive workforce in some respects is greater than ours. According to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, if India and China successfully train just 10 percent of their population, their skilled workforce would be nearly equal to the United States' entire workforce. As a consequence, we need to focus very, very carefully on the young people we've got and make sure every one of them uh, turns out well. We have to focus on maximizing the life success of every American kid. Studies also show a reduced social service cost, including a reduction in the cost of crime. None of the people in the current workforce had the emphasis of the state on early childhood education. So we have growing prisons. The prisons costs are enormous. In this country, it's $60 billion and rising. Uh, in this state, we're paying almost $40,000 for prisoners and over $40,000 and rising. Research at a preschool in Michigan called the Perry Preschool Study started in 1960 and tracked students through age 40. They um, did better in school, their achievement scores were higher, their graduation rates were higher, they earned more money in the workforce, and they also committed less crime. As businessmen, what we know is if we're not doing this right, it really doesn't matter much what else we're doing, because if we don't get this right, the other won't matter. Experts agree the future of Pennsylvania's economy depends on a highly qualified workforce. Early education can help position the state to compete nationally and globally. If you'd like more information on early childhood development, visit papromiseforchildren.com.